Here is to everyone that didn't believe, to those that said I can't, for those who wanted to see me fail, but also to those who support, helped and built my project, because only people that are crazy enough to think that they can mill aluminum on a 3D printed CNC machine are the ones who do. Finally, it's time to try to mill aluminum on a 3D printed DIY Dremel CNC. I know it took me a lot of time to get to this point, but I had to get used to using this machine and prepare myself mentally because milling aluminum on a 3D printed CNC is really not a simple thing. I also faced some problems with such a simple thing as buying aluminum here in Poland because most of the companies even didn't reply to my email and when they did, they were like, we are not selling to individuals, so sorry. I finally managed to find someone that sells aluminum for quite a decent price. Here I have a few plates, so today we are going to try to mill aluminum on a 3D printed DIY Dremel CNC. But before that, let me share with you some news and updates on this project. News number one, we crossed 1000 members in the Facebook group and that's really amazing. There's a lot of cool people that help each other. If someone have a problem, there is almost always someone that know how to resolve it. So if you have a problem, don't ask me in the email or in the comment or send me a Facebook message. Just ask in the group because there's a lot of cool people that always want to help and most of them even know more than me. So it's better to ask in the group than me personally. 1000 people, that's a lot. I never expect so many people to be in this Facebook group, but it's still growing and that's amazing. Thank you very much for that. If you are not in the Facebook group yet, I will leave a link in the description, so make sure to join it. Because of the contest that I attended to some time ago, I asked in the group where you guys, the builders of Dremel CNC are from, and the response was amazing, over 80 comments, and here is the result. We are all over the world, like literally, except one continent, Antarctica, and I don't really expect anyone from Antarctica to build Dremel CNC, but if you are from Antarctica and you are watching this video, please build this machine because I want to put a mark on Antarctica too, and I want this machine to be on each continent. Thank you very much. As I said, I attended the contest in Katowice some time ago. It was a really great event organized by Festival of Science. Didn't want anything there, but meet a lot of amazing people. We had some great talks. Some even recognized my project from the internet. It was a really great event and hopefully I will be there next year. That's it for Dremel CNC news. And now let's get to milling. Here I have different sizes of aluminum sheets. Those are scrap pieces that someone sell online really cheap. That's a great way to buy inexpensive material so that you can learn how to mill aluminum on the budget. The first thing that we have to do is to find depth and fit that we use while milling. I already did that before, so let me just quickly explain you how I did that. Keep in mind that depends on the spindle, bit and material that you are using, those values can vary a lot. All you have to do is to try different values starting slow and shallow and increasing that as long as everything seems to be fine. Be careful because you can break a bit or destroy your machine. To make the single passes, I simply controlled my machine through CNC.js with Gcode commands. After a few passes, I found that 0.1 mm deep and 800 mm per minute fit seem to work fine. If you are using the same setup as I do, you probably can use the same fit, but try to experiment. Maybe you will find a better setting than I did. Once we figure out fit and depth of cut, we can go to Fusion 360. I wouldn't cover all the Fusion 360 things right there. If you want to know how to export G-code and how to prepare stuff for milling, check out this video, I explained right there everything. What we have to change is depth of cut and fit. Everything else stays the same. Milling aluminum is not simple. We have to go slow and be very careful because there's a lot of things that can go wrong with milling aluminum. I already did my design in Fusion. I'm going to mill aluminum in aluminum. I mean aluminum from periodic table. I thought that this is a small and simple thing to mill. Really good idea to start with. Nothing fancy in this video. I just want to see if milling aluminum is possible on this machine. So it will be quite small. I already did the setup. I set up the adaptive clearing and to the contour. Everything should be ready. Let's just run the simulation to see how it will look like. I decided to try to mill 0.2 millimeters deep on each pass and feed rate of I think 400 millimeters per minute. I'm not sure what to expect. Maybe it wouldn't work, but I hope it will. So let's put the material on the table and start milling. I should also mention the bit that I'm going to use. And just like with the plexiglass, I'm going to use a single foot end mill. I will put a link in the description to it. 
That's how it looks like. There is just a single foot that cuts. Make sure that it is mounted rock solid, that's not wood, forces right there are way bigger, so we need to use screws and forget about double sided tape. Uh, right now we have to find the zero point, I already marked this point on the material, I just have to go to this point with the bit and we should be ready to start milling. As always, safety is number one priority, so remember about safety glasses and ears protection. Are you ready? I'm not, but I really want to do this, so let's start. This is supposed to be just an experiment, to see if milling aluminum on a DIY Dremel CNC is even possible. A lot of people asked me to make this video, I wanted to make this video, I was a little bit afraid that I will break the machine, but that wouldn't be a big deal because I can always print a new one. I was expecting a poor cut with low speed and bad surface finish, but I was wrong. The surface finish is really good, those marks at the bottom are visible, but you can barely feel them with a finger. I end up cutting it two times faster than I initially wanted to, and I could easily go like 0.3 millimeters, maybe even 0.4 millimeters deep. And I've got this result at the first try, so it's really not hard. Milling aluminum on a 3D printed CNC, I would never thought that something like this is possible. But it is, and you can do it yourself for about $300, that's the cost of building this machine. In my next video I wanted to replace the Dremel with 400W spindle, but Dremel works so well with aluminum that I think I will play a little bit more with it, and I will try to make some injection molds in my next video, so make sure to subscribe to don't miss that. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!